My name's Professor Tracy Dixon. I'm the Associate Dean for Research at the College of Health and Medicine at the University of Tasmania, and I'm also a researcher at the Menzies Institute, which is also a part of the University of Tasmania. I work primarily on neurodegenerative diseases. Most of my research at the moment is focusing on motor neuron disease and frontotemporal dementia and also Parkinson's disease. But I also work on traumatic brain injury and trying to understand how the brain responds to injury and how we can um, hopefully help people respond in a better way. The main project we're working on at the moment is a large grant looking at a particular drug that we hope will have benefit for people with motor neuron disease. In motor neuron disease, we know that there's sort of an imbalance in how our brain works, whether or not it's over-firing and a little bit overactive. And the drug we're trialling is hoping to sort of balance that activity. So with that work, we've now developed this sort of um, hypothesis that it's about excitotoxicity or an overactivity of the brain. And our work's contributed to a large part of research internationally on motor neuron disease. And so now we're trialling this intervention. I think all research is no matter whether or not you're in the laboratory or you're working with people or you're an epidemiologist, you're trying to cure a disease. You're trying to help the population that are affected. You know, motor neuron disease is a devastating disease. People die within two to three years of diagnosis. There's no treatments, there's certainly no cures. And so even though I'm working at the mechanistic end and trying to pathway a drug to trial, my goal is to, to help those people.